Monster hurricane growing to a Category 4 late today. Winds up to 140 miles an hour and already deadly. Some tracks do have it affecting the U.S. in the days to come. Ginger with that in a moment. Fierce winds battering Barbados and the other islands of the Caribbean. The hurricane tracking north and millions along the already saturated east coast in this country now watching anxiously. ABC's Gio Benitez with the pictures tonight. Tonight, Hurricane Matthew churning up major waves as meteorologists track that major hurricane exploding in less than 24 hours to a Category 4 monster storm. Winds up to 140 miles an hour. Matthew already deadly, killing a 16-year-old boy on the island of St. Vincent. Meanwhile, in the U.S., millions along the East Coast are hoping Matthew stays offshore because they're already dealing with a massive storm system. In Virginia, rain turning deadly, a tree falling on a man, helping the driver of this truck. Near Fayetteville, North Carolina, neighborhoods underwater. Shayna Williams fears she's lost everything in her now flooded home, including the photos of her mother, who recently passed away. And I just think of all my pictures that I had of her, I didn't have time to get. And we'll never see them again. So is this really hard? And a raging creek tore this road apart as a driver crossed above. The sheriff's office tonight says the woman behind the wheel is safe. And David, right here in New York, we are seeing our second day of storms. We're going to be dealing with more wind and rain over the weekend. David. Gio Benitez on this part of the story. Gio, thanks. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z, who's also tracking the hurricane, mm -hmm. which could bring more rain in the days to come. But this is a monster already. Oh, my goodness. This monster went Cat 1 to Cat 4 in less than 24 hours. So rapid intensification is now 75 miles north of that little part of Columbia you can see sticking up there. A lot of places are on alert, including tropical storm warning there in Columbia along that line to Venezuela, the hurricane watch in Jamaica, the tropical storm watch in Haiti. Here's the current track from the National Hurricane Center. Stay very strong at category four then reducing to three still the impact will be huge for jamaica if this track stays true you could see 10 to 15 inches up to 25 inches of rain as it hits these islands friction will help to tear it apart a little but it stays very strong as it goes through the bahamas by wednesday and this is where models diverge really greatly david some of them keeping it close to the u.s others using that trough to kick it off east we'll right. be watching i'll hope for the other models yes. but you'll keep us posted ginger always great to have you at night